Three young girls from Scobie, Montana, inspired by giving back to foster children, are taking matters into their own hands. MTN Zoe Zandora tells us how. We said how it would be cool if people would hold hands across the world, and then we were talking about how we would have to get ships and everything all lined up across the ocean, so we thought that would be a little bit hard. Then we narrowed it down to America. After a quick Google search, the girls found the concept had already been done by Ken Cragen, Hands Across America. We think it'd be cool if other kids got the idea to do that so they could do it with their communities. And so they decided to form Hands Across Scobie, Montana. They wrote a letter to Ken Cragen. He responded, and to their surprise, he was very excited about their concept. It's been a continuous positive response from Ken. He's called us. Um, he's encouraged. He's brainstorm problems with us. Their mom, Ruth Williams, a wife and mother of five, including one foster child. The reason the three Williams sisters are doing Hands Across Scobie in the first place, to give back to foster families. Raise money for a brick by brick home in, in, in Marsland, Montana. Um, so it's just gonna be for, like for foster kids who need a place to stay. And then we're gonna divide it up so then the other half would be going to the kids activities that are fair. Ruth says through the process of being certified as a foster family, the Williams has realized there is a major need for fostering help. There's just an overwhelming number of kids that need a safe place to be. And so I'm going to start getting teary-eyed because of that. But, um, and I don't feel qualified to do it. You know, I have four kids and then it's five and an extra one and homeschooling. It's a lot. Um, but my caseworkers and stuff, they're like, Trust me, you're doing a great job. It's just like there's a lot of foster kids. Um, so then it, they'd be able to get care. The plan for Hands Across Scoby? Well, the children who participate will line up from east to west at an arm's length, say the Pledge of Allegiance, and maybe a game of telephone if there's enough time. We just thought it'd be cool if America was more united and everybody got along better. All right, and again, the event is June 1st. It's in Scobie, Montana.